Did you know there's a test you can take right now that tells you if your kidneys are damaged? In today's video, we're exploring the different types of at-home kidney tests. If you watched our video about the signs of kidney disease, you'll know that issues with your kidneys can often fly under the radar. With long waiting times for doctor appointments, keeping on top of your kidney health at home is a great solution. Keep watching to learn all about these tests, how they work, what levels you need to look out for, and how you can get the most accurate reading. We'll also be revealing how you can get your hands on two exclusive free gifts later on in the video, so make sure you stick around for that. So what exactly are at-home kidney tests? The tests fall into two categories, urine tests and blood tests, and they allow you to check things like how well your kidneys are filtering blood to catch any signs of damage early on. Urine tests are the most common and involve checking for proteins like albumin, which shouldn't be there if your kidneys are healthy. Blood tests usually measure substances like creatinine and calculate your glomerular filtration rate, or GFR, which tells you how well your kidneys are filtering blood. Each home kidney test kit generally comes with all you need to perform the test. Instructions, collection containers, and sometimes even a prepaid shipping container to send your samples to a lab. For some tests, it's possible to get results right away. For others, you'll need to send your results off for further analysis. When it comes to urine tests, it's usually as simple as peeing into a cup first thing in the morning. This sample can then be used for immediate testing with a provided dipstick that changes color based on the presence of proteins or sent off to a lab in a sealed container. Blood tests involve a small finger prick to draw a few drops of blood, which you'll place on a test strip or into a vial, depending on the kit. These test strips will change color based on your blood's creatinine levels. Depending on the test, you can either read these strips visually or mail them off to a lab where further analysis is done to calculate your estimated GFR. Tests that involve lab analysis are more detailed, but the turnaround is quick and results are usually sent back to you within a few days through an app or website. The single greatest benefit these tests offer is the possibility of earlier detection. Studies show that early detection of kidney disease can reduce the risk of mortality by as much as 50%. So keeping on top of your kidney health can make all the difference. The fact that these tests are so convenient and can be easily done from the comfort of your own home is getting more people to regularly test themselves, dramatically reducing the number of kidney disease cases that are detected in the late stages. Home tests eliminate the need for travel and waiting times, which is particularly helpful for those in rural or underserved areas where healthcare services might not be easily accessible. Also, with regular home testing, you can take charge of monitoring your kidney health, which is particularly crucial if you're at higher risk of kidney diseases. However, there are some drawbacks to this system, room for error being a huge one. While these tests offer a snapshot of your kidney health at the moment of testing, interpreting the results and taking the samples correctly is where things get tricky. While these tests do provide valuable information about specific markers of kidney function, they don't offer a complete picture. Kidney disease is complex and can be influenced by a variety of factors that these tests don't take into consideration. For example, they don't measure other important health indicators like blood pressure or blood sugar levels, which can offer further insights into the health of the kidneys. Another significant limitation is the potential for human error. The accuracy of home tests completely depends on the sample being collected and processed correctly. Missteps in following the instructions can lead to incorrect readings, which could either falsely reassure you or cause unnecessary alarm. In just a few minutes, we'll be sharing some tips for getting the most out of your at-home kidney test. So stick with us to find out how you can get the most accurate results. But first, we must acknowledge that there's also a risk of dependency on these tests. If you interpret your results as normal, you might postpone consulting a doctor, potentially allowing a treatable condition to worsen. Now, before we share our top tips for accuracy when using at-home tests, we'd like to thank you for watching with your two exclusive free gifts. Discover an entire world of kidney boosting knowledge, tips, and tricks with the Kidney Friendly Recipe Collection, containing more than 25 recipes for every meal, including dessert. Crafted especially for our viewers with kidney disease, this unique collection focuses on quick and easy recipes to whip up food that's both tasty and great for your kidneys. 
But that's not all. You'll also get access to the Alkaline Diet and pH Guide for Kidney Disease. This essential guide unravels the critical role of pH balance in kidney health. It includes easy to follow advice on testing your pH levels at home, plus practical diet tips to support kidney health. Get each of these powerful gifts for free. Just click the link in the description below and start using these life-changing strategies today. Okay, back to the video. And let's look at the best practices for testing yourself at home. First, it should go without saying that it's crucial to follow the instructions exactly. Every kit comes with detailed guidance on how to correctly collect and handle your sample. You should familiarize yourself thoroughly with these instructions and make sure you understand each step before starting. Timing also plays a critical role, especially for urine tests, where the time of day can impact concentration levels and accuracy of results. Some tests may require a sample first thing in the morning, when the urine is more concentrated and can provide clearer results. So you should double check this before testing. It's also important to prepare properly before taking the test. Dietary factors or medications can influence test outcomes, so you may need to avoid certain foods or drinks while taking note of any medications you're on that could affect the results. If you're planning on testing yourself multiple times over a period of time, make sure there is consistency in your testing conditions. This is to make sure that any changes in the results are accurate and not simply due to changes in your surroundings. Equally important is the handling of the sample once you've collected it. Ideally, it should be processed or mailed for laboratory analysis as quickly as possible to prevent degradation of the material which could skew results. But how do these tests compare to traditional testing? Clinical tests conducted in hospitals are regarded as the gold standard for accuracy because they are performed under strictly controlled conditions and often involve multiple types of assessments to provide a comprehensive view of kidney function. These tests often involve extensive blood, urine, and imaging tests, which are analyzed by sophisticated laboratory equipment to ensure a full detailed picture of the kidney's health. In contrast, home tests are simpler. They usually focus on one or two key indicators, like creatinine levels or the presence of albumin in urine, and so offer a snapshot rather than a detailed report. And this is before we come to their other major limitation of at-home tests, human error. Incorrect sample collection, improper handling, and even environmental factors like temperature can influence the results of a home test. For example, if a blood sample isn't applied properly to a test strip, or if a urine sample is diluted from excessive fluid intake, the results could be misleading. But studies have shown that when used correctly, home kidney tests can provide good intel on kidney health. On top of this, the reliability of home tests has improved significantly over the years. Advances in technology and better quality reagents used in test kits mean that today's home kidney tests can provide a good indication of whether further investigation by a healthcare professional is needed. Now, home kidney tests are not for everyone, but they can be incredibly beneficial for certain groups of people. First up, people who are at higher risk of developing kidney disease stand to benefit significantly from regular monitoring with home kidney tests. This includes people with diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, or those who have a family history of kidney failure. For these people, Early detection of changes in kidney function is crucial when it comes to preventing the progression of disease. Older adults could also benefit hugely from regular at-home testing. As we age, kidney function naturally declines. Regular home testing is a convenient way for older individuals to keep track of their kidney health without frequent trips to the doctor. As well as this, people who are already managing chronic kidney disease can use these tests to monitor their condition more closely. While these tests shouldn't replace regular medical checkups, they can provide ongoing insights into kidney health, allowing for timely adjustments in treatment plans. While at-home kidney tests can be a great way to spot early changes in kidney function, they shouldn't be used in isolation. Using an at-home kidney test to spot early warning signs is a great way to ensure you know when it's time to seek professional advice. But focusing on eating a nutritious, kidney-friendly diet is the first step to avoiding issues down the line. So don't forget about your two free gifts, which you can claim below. And have you ever used an at-home kidney test? Let us know in the comments. If you found this content helpful, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all the latest kidney news. Stay healthy, and we'll see you next time.